So Kyle Beats just brought out his new plugin, Sandbox. Today's a very special day because my new synth plugin called Sandbox is now available. Honestly, from looking at his video from the drop this morning, the plugin does look a little enticing, I'm not gonna lie. But you just never really know until you completely like test it out. Now this plugin is a little bit different from his drip plugin because this one actually has sound. So I'm a little bit excited to try this out. And the most interesting part about this is that you can't really purchase this plugin outright. So it is a subscription based plugin. So this could be good and bad. Like if you're a producer that doesn't have a lot of money to buy like a $200, $300 plugin, then you could just go ahead and pay $10 a month month for this plugin. Or right now he's actually giving you the option to pay like $77 annually. So, and I do have to commend him on the business move because if only 1% of his subscribers buy this plugin or subscribe to this plugin, that means that's 8,000 subscribers. And if you do the math, if 8,000 subscribers times 10, that's $80,000 a month. So yeah. That's a bag. So I already downloaded the plugin. I got Sandbox right here. It was a super easy install, but I do have to warn you guys, it is four gigabytes of storage that you're gonna have to use to download this. And that means it must have like a lot of sounds. It must have a lot of things, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but if your computer's barely running or something and you need that extra storage, maybe this might slow it down a bit, but it's, it is just four gigabytes. It's not like 10 or 20, but it's still a good amount of gigabytes. All right, so let's check some of these sounds out. Let's see what, what they got right here. Let's start off with bass. The, the interface of the whole plugin looks pretty cool. It has, a, it has a lot of stuff going on. I'm not gonna lie, like you would have to mess with this for a while. Uh, you have a lot of stuff right here on the left side. You have something like with it that has a sampler. I guess you could download, you could just drop files in here and then it has a, an oscillator. Looks like it has the same things. Maybe I think you could combine these three so you can drop three samples all at once, I'm guessing. Not really sure yet though, but this is how you turn it on by clicking this middle uh, button right here. Let's try some sounds out. This already sounds like an 808. How do you adjust the volume up here? This one, this one actually sounds pretty good. So you can get, if you go down 12 semitones, you can actually get the bass note and the higher pitch note at the same time. That I mean, that's, I never seen that before, but. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, I gotta say, there's a ton of sounds here. Now that it explains the four gigs. I know there's a harmony option right here that you could turn it on and then it plays like the notes with one finger. But I kind of don't want to use that yet. At first, I want to make a beat just without that and see if the sounds are even good enough. Then maybe we can make a beat using those, the harmonies or whatever. Let's go to pads. I really want, I'm a big pads guy. So let's try out some pads. Let's, let's try to record something with it first and then we'll just add some effects that it comes with. Nothing very simple, nothing crazy. Let's go back, let's add some delay. Dude, it just crashed. It just crashed, it made my whole thing crash, bro. So negative point already. Let's try to like a chorus to see what that does. Not gonna lie, I'm not feeling the keys sounds too much. I went through almost all of them already and I still haven't found a pretty good one. So I just realized that one of these options actually has a way to change the sound like this. This is pretty cool, I didn't even know this was here. top of that you, you can add so much more to it just using one of these options right here which is pretty cool honestly
Let's try to do something with orchestral. for like the choruses and stuff. Not too bad, not too bad, you know, just to make something really quick. There was a couple sounds that I had to go through that I didn't like. There was actually quite a lot, <laughs> to be honest. But there was a lot of good sounds as well. And then I love how you can just manipulate them with these effects here in the bottom. If you want to finish this melody, just drop it down in the comments. Let me finish this sample and then I'll gladly send it to you. All right, now let's try to make something with the harmony option because I know a lot of producers are probably going to be using this because some people don't know music theory and that's totally fine. So let's try to see how fast or how easy it is to make something with that. Okay, so let's go straight into the harmony option it has the, all the chords here um, and it has the extended if you want to add like a nine or a seven in pretty detail so not bad Let's try to do something minor of course we always want something dark right And I'm gonna try to make something a little bit more faster a little bit something more like hard more like fire hype So for some reason, this one sometimes just stop laying and then it just, and I try to bounce it in place, but it, it, it just doesn't work for some reason, but sometimes it plays good and sometimes it doesn't. Try to get like a pad sound out of sandbox. And then I think we could add some drums to this. So we definitely got those two sounds out of sandbox. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the sounds that I have from my plugins because for some reason sandbox is not working for with, when I try to bring it out the third time. Got it. Okay, I might have exaggerated a little bit on the 808s, but it's all fun and games, right? So my honest opinion about the sandbox is it's honestly dope. It's cool. I feel like it does have a little bit of bugs that needs to be fixed. Like it keeps like lagging, keeps stalling. As soon as I brought in my other plugins, you know, everything was good and smooth. For the most part, I think it works pretty good. On a scale of one to 10, I'll give it like a solid seven, maybe. A solid seven, I don't think the sounds were super, super great. But for $10 a month, I mean, $10 a month is like now like a combo at McDonald's now. So you really can't go wrong if you're trying to make some music. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Till next time, Stay blessed and stay positive. Peace.